Outside in a damn Jeep, right outside. What's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video today's video we actually have a care package for this thing right here if you guys are new to the channel this is my 2011 Camaro SS LS3 which means it's a manual car and being that it's a manual car you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail we are installing something that's going to change the driving experience totally so first before I show you what what that is I'm going to move this out, move this over, and get it up on ramps and jack stands. So, let's get to that. All right, you guys, as you can see, I have the car up on jack stands now. You see, I have it pretty high because I'm going to need to be getting under this thing. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what I got for this thing. So, today's modification. I ended up getting an MGW flat stick shifter for this thing. So I'm trying to find the main piece here. This looks like, or feels like my shift ball in here. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Uh, let's see here. This looks like it's gonna be the main event here. Give me one second guys i'll get this open and i can show you guys what it looks like this is what we got for the car guys if you guys follow fifth generation camaros you know that this shifter is basically king out of everything else if you've been following my camaro for a while you know that we currently have the zl1 slash 1le style 5.1 to 1 ratio short shifter in this thing already this is a gm option and compared to my stock one from when I first got the car, it is way better than stock. But this one right here, if you ain't got it, then you're losing. So I decided to go ahead and take advantage of their Black Friday sale recently. So this is their flat stick option, which is basically the one that everybody gets for these things. And it's supposed to be the best. So um, today's video, I'm going to be uh, going along with you guys installing this on the car because as usual youtube does not have a lot of videos detailed enough on how to install this thing so uh first things first we're gonna go ahead and uh take out the inside i'm going to have to take out this plastic piece uh you don't have to disconnect the gauges you just have to lean them over so i'm gonna lean over the gauges and um take off my shift knob and boot here and you guys can whenever you do this on your car you guys will see how simple it is but let me go ahead and start doing that and then i'll cut back in and show you guys what it looks like okay you guys so this is what i was talking about um as you see i have my uh top piece taken apart here it's only clipped so you just pull that off be careful not to snap any of them because they are plastic so this is my one le style shifter that i previously installed a while back um so i want you guys to pay attention to my throw here because the mgw is supposed to be a little bit shorter but not much so if i go that is third gear right there and that's third to fourth and then the other thing as well is i'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to get all of it but the side to side play is is supposed to be a little tighter in the mgw as mentioned got my plastic section off uh, I have four seven mil bolts here. This should uh, let my shift boot come up, but I also need to disconnect my shift boot from my knob here. So to do that on this car is either you twist this ring, either left or right, and then and then it'll expose a torque screw right here. So I'm gonna continue doing that, and then obviously uh, let you guys know what the next step is. All right, guys. So next. Here, we're going to take out these four bolts 
here they are all 410 millimeters and once we get these loose we're going to rip out this boot here and this is going to be all for the inside until we get done with the bottom side of the car so we'll go ahead and do that and now i'm gonna show you guys what we need to do next up under the car okay guys so normally probably on your car you're going to have a heat shield up under on top of your exhaust um but mine isn't here on my car for whatever reason but you guys will see the the small nuts that are on the corners here and what you're going to do you're going to take those off and you're going to slide the heat shield back because we actually need to get up in here to take some bolts apart uh you guys can probably see that one right there that we're going to have to take off there's one on the opposite side and uh you're also going to want to uh take off the transmission mount and I'm going to get a jack under here and I'm going to lower my transmission so that way it's going to be easier for us to reach up in here. All right, you guys, I figured I would do a small update. As you guys can see, I have my trans mount off. Uh, I did take off the four bolts completely. The four that I told you guys earlier, and there are two 15 millimeter nuts that uh, connect to the actual bushing mount here. It's not that hard to uh, get this whole mount off. Eventually you let it down far enough and uh, uh, it will bottom out on the motor mounts. Um, just make sure that you don't have it sitting here for a super extended amount of time. Uh, obviously you can tell I don't have the jack under here right now. And that's because I'm gonna need all the space I can get to get all of our upper components out. Uh, as you can see, I got that bushing out up there. Uh, you take off the two 10 mil nuts. There's one on this side as you're looking at, one on the other side, and then that plate will move upward so that way you can separate it from the stud and pull off the bushing. So next, I'm gonna be taking out the actual stick there. There are two clips, one on each side of the lever there, and there's two 10 mil bolts in there. So uh, once I get that out then we will move on to the hardest part that i mentioned earlier and that's going to be getting the arms off the side of the transmission so let's continue on so as promised i said i would get back with you guys when it came to this hardest part of this install uh i already did the other side just to make sure i could do it before i uh, told you guys wrong um but basically this clip right here that one right there um, you have to take this Allen wrench that comes in your uh, kit for installation and basically you're going to poke right under the clip on this side and it's going to go all the way through and it's going to press up against this other side and release it. So once that happens, you'll be able to flip that up and then pull that pin out and this will get the body of the stock shifter out. Uh, let me see if I can get this on camera but i kind of need two hands so i'll probably go ahead and do it and then uh show you guys once it looks like once i have it flipped up and then whenever i'm pulling it out all right you guys if you can see that i have the pin rotated up and then now you just kind of wiggle it out and it should come on out of here like so so we have our both pins out now. I will say, if you guys can get the passenger side first, the driver side is going to be 20 times easier, but that was the hardest part of this removal. So now this whole body should actually come backwards and down. So you guys, oops. Now we can actually move on to the install portion of this video. So the first thing for the install portion we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flat stick here and we're gonna lay it inside the hole on top of the transmission. Keep your um, your wrap on here just so it doesn't scratch it because we're going to have to go back under and be messing around with this thing. So don't wanna scratch up that nice finish. Now that we have our shifter 
laying on top of the transmission, we're actually going to go back under and uh, reconnect our linkage to this right here. Those uh, same two clips that I showed you to take out the, the stock lever, we're going to be installing that pin and those clips to retain it onto this housing right here. Here's what I was mentioning up top. I have my pin all the way through and my two retaining clips, one on each side. Um, so now I'm going to actually reinstall this boot here around the shifter housing. Um, I didn't show you guys the removal of this because it was kind of self-explanatory for this. Uh, but yeah, so now I'm going to actually make sure I get this all the way around the MGW housing. And then uh, next we should be installing our new arms. For our replacement arms here, uh, these are MGW's version of what we pulled those uh, two pins out from. We're actually going to take a piece of this dynamat that they supply with your shifter and we're going to wrap around the top of the arm here for vibration. So we're going to do that for each one and then we're actually going to be using a remainder for the inside of the car. So I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, and then once you have these wrapped, you can go ahead put these into those two slots on top of the trans where you took those pins out and obviously you can tell from these two holes right here uh, one will actually line up with the uh, uh, alignment pin on the actual housing and the other one will be a bolt. So if you guys can see here are the new arms installed. Um, they are clipped in on this side and the passenger side and we also have this bolt um, installed on both sides as well but with these bolts guys just be careful uh, because you are going to have to apply red Loctite and also the driver's side bolt is shorter than the passenger side bolt. They are Mark D and P respectively. So uh, just make sure you put them on the correct side because red Loctite is forever guys and you will have a terrible time trying to get these things out if you mix it up. So uh, with that being said, we can actually go ahead and reinstall our trans mount and push the transmission up. We are going to have to come back down here one last time to install this bushing right here. But I'm going to go ahead and reinstall my trans mount for the meantime and I'll meet you guys inside the cabin. So next up, we're actually going to be installing this plate right here. This is going to be for our dust boot later on. Um, only thing you have to do for this is you're going to obviously take these off first and then they're going to fit into those two holes right there. So you're going to hold it up, but you're not going to tighten this down all the way until we get the dust boot on, but you're going to basically just start these for now. And then we're going to actually go back under the car and install the other bushing that I showed you guys. Lastly, for the bottom section, we're going to be taking this bushing right here and installing it on the back side of that shifter housing. Uh, make sure when you do this, that this plate is facing towards the rear of the car. And um, MGW recommends that we put some of the silicone along the top here to reduce vibration, but it is optional. So you guys don't have to do it if you don't want to. I'm still kind of half and half on whether I want to for mine. So you want to take these nuts off because these are going to go through the bottom of the car into the cabin and we're going to come back on top and tighten these nuts down. All right, so what I've done is I got that rear bushing in and mounted. It's actually under this uh, sound deadening mat right here. And you have to get this boot over the shifter uh, to help it go over this section, use some Meguiar's or armor on something like that. And it'll actually work as some lube to get it over it. And then you want to get it under the actual um, metal section of the car here. And it's going to actually go in between that front plate and your rear bushing here. And then once you get it all seated, 
it's going to be a 9 16 socket for all four of the nuts just make sure you don't over tighten them and then you take this sound deadening mat here and you place it over it so now what i'm what we're going to move on to is the actual shift boot and the shift knob and basically finish this whole install okay you guys so we are literally coming down to our final steps here as you can see got the shift boot back on um this is the grommet that is supplied with the um, new kit uh, there's a zip tie that is holding this boot onto this grommet right now okay you guys so just like that we have an mgw shifter and nightwing so the white shift ball does look rather nice i think i think it's growing on me but yeah so remember when i showed you guys the throw on our z01 style shifter so check this out guys i'm gonna go straight up into third that is third gear guys and then there's fourth so definitely going to have to relearn to how to drive this car but last thing whenever you install something new we got to verify the repair so let's go ahead get this thing cranked up and uh go test this out shifter functions as you guys can tell it is very uh short very tight with the bushings and everything um i can't do too much for you guys right now um i did just do a first to second gear pull and basically this thing uh i had to predict where it wanted to go to say the least as you guys can tell it is 44 degrees out here so even with the tires aired down on the back, uh, don't pay attention to the location. This is actually for my back left tire. I just haven't reprogrammed the sensors to their respective locations. Um, but yeah, guys, um, even with the tires aired down, this thing really just wants to spin in this cold weather. So didn't want to really get too many hard pulls being that that first to second gear pull was almost it. <laughs> But other than that, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this install. Let me know, as usual, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to DM me on Instagram. It is the same as the channel name, Trent5Tree. As usual, I will put it right here for you guys so you can uh, message me. But other than that, guys, hope you did enjoy. Hopefully, I, I am able to help you guys install it on your car, make you feel confident about it. And uh, other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one.